I've watched a couple of movies with um, Chidi and then Eronini. You know, those two have a great vibe. They are happy. They flow well. But the addition of Shank to this too <laughs> just took the whole thing to a different level. The guy is hilarious. He is funny. He brought some kind of, you know, ease, some kind of fun, some kind of, you know, touch, you know, to this, uh, um, to this whole movie. I mean, look at when he caught um, Steph and then Cash. He was imitating them after Steph left. And when his girlfriend called him for money, he was like, you know what, my dear, you are blaming this relationship. But today you leave me tomorrow, you, you don't leave me. You know, that kind of vibe. I mean, like, who says that? Okay, the guy is hilarious. When the money came, he said, send your father's number, send your mama's number, send everybody, if all your family members, send their contact. The guy is just funny. Like, he 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 made me laugh so hard. I, I, I laughed all through. Anytime I watched him, he was like, this guy is too so funny now. Too, too funny. And I thought that um, Steph and um, Cash too had a good vibe. They, you know, they're a good pair, if, if you, um, if, if I should put it that way. They're, they're, they're a good pair. And so they also, you know, made it easy to watch and then, you know, just flowing. The, the, the three guys were just flowing. They were just flowing. They were just flowing. Now, if you watch carefully, you realize that the movie, you know, transitioned from, you know, fun scenes, funny scenes, down to emotional scenes, you know, where you are emotionally attached to the movie, hoping that, you know, bad things will not happen to these guys, even though they made the wrong moves, okay? You were like, they shouldn't die, nobody should die, nothing bad should happen to them, they should be able to, you know, come out of this, you know, and then learn their lessons. But then, it didn't give us that. But I like the transition, you know, from some good fun to, you know, this part where we are hoping and praying, you know, the guys did not see God. We were hoping and praying that God, you know, help them out of this, you know, punish them for their mistakes. Okay, there's this emotion, you are crying, you are, you are wishing and praying, that, oh God, save these guys, save these guys. So I really like that transition. I mean, the pressures of life, you know, pushes you to seek um, wealth and money. But doing it the wrong way is bad. You know, your wrong way never, never, ever, ever, ever works. You know, they, they were already into, you know, um, defrauding. And now, because the money was not coming, they wanted to, you know, seek help to get this thing done. And then they go to a fetish priest. I mean, a bougie fetish priest as I am, I am at that. All fetish priests, you know, work in shrines. But this one had a home where the people came to him. It's not a, your usual fetish priest, though. He was in his house. And these boys, you know, would come to him. You know to seek help from him to get the money um, 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 um faster the wrong friends who put you in the wrong um who put you in problems okay these friends introduced them to this fetish place and look at what happened to them look at the consequences that you know arose from their actions you know and you know the pressures you know cash's mother for instance would call him and say they rent to you meanwhile your son is in school he doesn't work so these pressures from family from friends and all those things pushes people to make the wrong moves but going the wrong way selling your soul is never the option ever 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 the option now the consequence of the actions you know came so fast came so quick was like you do this this person is gone you do this, this person is gone i mean i knew for a fact that these guys would not be able to stay in their home after the money comes i mean why do you give them the option of you know staying in their home for a whole year after all these riches after all this wealth that they are going to enjoy comes to them who would be able to live in their homes I mean, I want to live a better life. Now, give me the money. It's actually stay where I was before, you know, I moved into a better place. Who would be able to stick to this? I knew that these guys would not be able to. And lo and behold, they proved me right. They moved, in, they moved down, went to buy houses, went to buy cars. They, totally, they even forgot that they had that caveat was there that they, they were not supposed to move. I'm sure they totally forgot. And look at this um, uh, man making sacrifices on their behalf without even asking because i i know for sure that he thought that okay if i should ask these guys to sacrifice somebody they would never do it so he now he did the sacrifice on their behalf your father is gone your mother is gone your manhood is not working like he just made the, these sacrifices on their behalf and you know catch was not really into this thing he he was a bit skeptical I was like, you know what? I don't want any kind of, oh, kind of, kind of uh, uh, ritual, kind of a uh, money sacrifice or stuff like that. But this was exactly it. When he said that, I was like, ah, this young man. But it was exactly that. Totally, you know, out of character, out of option. They were like, what is this? Their families, their friends, things. The money is coming all right. But then something has to give. Something had to give.
and you know i don't get that this is this thing that when you get money that you don't you know suffer to get you just you know spend it and waste it these guys were just wasting money going riding in town spreading money of course a man gave um crazy option that you cannot give people who need the money so you know they just you know go out and yeah, just spread the money and then just waste it go to clubs and you know do all those things and what's with this thing that brothers don't want their friends to date their sisters but they these brothers want to date other people's sisters like what is that because you know your friends how correct and how incorrect they are so you don't want your siblings you know um mingling with them but these sisters too are not young people and they are not young so let them make their own mistakes and you know flo let allowed you know his anger to get a better part of him and you know went ahead to you know spray this uh, medicine in front of his house and then led to the death of his own sister in fact flo killed steph with his own hands and right in front of him he lost this um sister and then his you know possible nephew or niece because of anger because you don't want your friend to date your sister i mean what's this why 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 do brothers do that please if you are if you are like flow explain to me in the comment section why you guys do that because i really do not get it and i was really not expecting the lady to be in um, in the house at the time but that was a really good surprise that i got i was like oh no i wasn't expecting her to be in the house at all and when this um young lady died you know cash is like i cannot continue living it's it's not possible for me already he was not even in for this thing he didn't, wasn't feeling it he was like this is not the way to go but you know he had to just make do and then support his family his school just get a better life that he's always wanted so he decides you know what just let everything go took off the ring you know what can come can come i can die it's it's okay i mean the person i love is dead so what's the point what is the point in all of this okay so let me know the lessons that you picked up from this movie leave that in the comment section um let's continue the Let's continue the, um, the conversation there. And um, I'll see you again. Do it to like this video. Do it to subscribe. Do it to part of my family. And I will see you again next time. And hey, why is it that, you know, when they go to the fetish place and then things go wrong, they come to the house and they're like, oh, God, save us. Oh, God, save us. In fact, in the dream, when the when the man held them and then came to you know showed up something small in their dreams so they were calling Jesus. I'm like, you know this name, but then you are going, you know, you went to a fetish priest for... For help for money no matter how hard life is going to the dark world is not the option seeking help from a fetish priest is not the option i mean a bougie fetish priest but the start of the movie you know there was this different fetish priest he did not really appear in the movie again where did he go was it the one um the three guys his friend was talking about i don't know so let me know the lessons you picked up from this movie in the comment section and i will see you again next time do also again like this video subscribe to part of my family and i'll see you take care bye Peace.